but that but that is actually real gas whatever pressure we are measuring that pressure is belongs to real gas right uh, right sir right pv is equal to mrt is basically for ideal gas uh. so uh. measured pressure is less than ideal pressure or more than ideal pressure sir i have uh, drawn a linear graph but i don't think sir exactly the right draw uh, a linear graph linear okay. variation linear variation so can you see the linear variation you are saying linear variation right i i uh, draw a linear variation i don't think that's right okay and what about the tube surface temperature variation okay this is the fluid temperature variation with length okay. and what is the uh, what is the variation of uh, surface temperature with respect to the length so you are from kerala right sir sorry father you are from kerala uh, yes ma'am yes sir okay so i also did my masters from kerala in it calicut uh, yes i i am from trivandrum you are from trivandrum okay many of my friends are from trivandrum basically uh. okay so how is going on it's good sir i am preparing for the interview okay. little bit anxious it will be conscious so we you know we calm because it's not a real interview it is a mock interview mm-hmm. if you are here conscious then it will be very difficult for you uh, to face you know the real interview basically okay yes so feel free we are just friend only right don't worry i'm just uh, you know hardly 5 10 years younger than you that's it uh. i just wanted to uh, get some uh, re- uh, real life problem solving skills at my hand after that i will consider for phd also in future right yes yes okay so uh, what are your area of interest favorite areas where you are very much comfortable as per ug level because your your this interview is basically based on ug level you your basic criteria basic qualification that required for this exam is ug right so what are your uh, uh, area of interest uh, sir thermodynamics fluid mechanics heat transfer uh, engineering mechanics and strength of materials okay so uh, can you tell me what is exactly the need of absolute temperature scale uh, when you, like absolute means thermodynamic temperature scale i'm talking about because earlier number of scales are already available degree centigrade fahrenheit rankine so what is the exactly need of thermodynamic temperature scale uh, sir uh, if we consider celsius scale it heavily depends on the properties of the uh, material uh, so uh, for an absolute scale of temperature it doesn't uh, require any material reference point uh, to define temperature so i hope uh, uh, rankine scale is also a absolute scale only so why it is only kelvin scale is going to be used for uh, you know different applications like in analysis uh, sir kelvin scale is directly uh, uh, stirling erickson cycles are equivalent to so why stirling erection only even though in auto cycle diesel cycle we are considering the processes as reversible then why you did not give the name of auto diesel and all uh, sir uh, both auto and diesel cycle we consider as internally reversible cycle but there will be a temperature difference between ex- uh, the heat sink and uh, heat addition process the mean heat addition process so there will be an external reversibility uh, present so it is it is not totally uh, reversible process uh, only internally reversible how this irreversibility is basically measured sorry father how this irreversibility is basically measured uh, irreversibility is basically uh, measured Uh, by how much entropy is generated uh, entropy generated means entropy generated means uh, uh, for for an isolated system the entropy of the uh, system is never going to be 
less than zero. It is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. Uh, entropy, entropy you are talking about or entropy change you are talking about? Entropy change, entropy change. Sorry, sir, entropy change. Okay. Uh, one more thing. What is the physical meaning of entropy? Uh, entropy can be thought of a uh, measure of disorder. And what do you mean by disorder? Uh, the particle can be uh, attained different states. And in the state variables such as velocity, position, uh, momentum, it can... Uh, be in different states of position. Uh, if, if for a higher disorder, for a higher entropy state, the more possibilities will be there uh, to be in a state. Okay. If you have to define the absolute value of entropy, how will you define it? Absolute, uh, sir. Usually, we are more interested in uh, changing entropy. Uh, for absolute value uh, can be thought of at uh, zero Kelvin entropy can be uh, theoretically uh, it can be become zero. How how it is how it is zero at zero temperature? Uh, all the uh, thermal vibrations will uh, cease. So all the molecules are in an ordered state, ordered particular state. So there is no ambiguity of uh, what, which state the each particle is. Uh, in this statement is called what? Like third law. Third law. Yes. So directly you can answer in one line. That okay. is it. Third law of thermodynamics. No need to explain that macroscopic level. Okay. Okay. okay one more thing. What is the efficiency of uh, PMM one? Uh, sir, PMM one. Sorry, sir. I, perpetual motion. Perpetual I, motion machine of kind one. Um, a perpetual motion machines are not possible. In, uh, ah, if it is possible, then what will be the efficiency? Uh, that will be 100% efficient. 100% efficient. Are you sure? Well, it can be more than 100%. Perpetual motion basically uh, violates the first principle, first law. Mm -hmm. So energy may be created also in that kind of machine. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we consider what is our desired output, uh, like work output, then uh, it can have uh, more than uh, what we input into the system. No, like uh, as per perpetual motion machine one, without input output is possible, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So efficiency is defined as output by input. So input is going to be zero. So, okay, critically, the efficiency of PMM1 is not 1, it is infinite. Okay. Oh, okay. Just mean uh, more than. Ha. Okay. It is infinite, basically. Uh, you okay. have mentioned in your CV that you have did project on the HVAC system. Uh, can you tell me that the normal air conditioners, which are split AC, which we are using in our home, so that is basically based on HVAC or it is something different? Uh, sir, I don't under, really understand the question. Question is, you you mentioned in your CV that you worked on uh, your project on BTEC. BTEC project, I think, no, so, right? No, not, sir. Not, sir. I have done a, a separate course on HVAC, not a project. Okay, 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 okay. Ha, so you in voltage you did something some uh, course uh, yes, sir. or yes. something right yes, HVAC right yes sir so my question is very simple that the AC which we use in our home okay. normally split AC so is the these ACs are working on HVAC system or any other system sorry sir I don't know I don't know okay. so uh, uh, how this split AC actually works. So, split AC actually works in vapor compression system. Mm -hmm. uh, refrigerant is uh, being compressed and uh, uh, passed through an uh, valve expansion valve, and it gets cooled down and it going through an uh, evaporator, and then again it gets evaporated and uh, heated, and it is gone through a uh, condenser, which is uh, a reject heat to the atmosphere and it, this cycle continues. So indoor part of air conditioner is basically what? Evaporator, right? 
the room participate right uh-huh. so sometime you have you may have seen that some water is start coming out from that uh, you know indoor part yes, why sir. that is happening basically uh, sir uh, it is due to the moisture content in the atmosphere get condensed Mm-hmm. Ah, so it should not come from the from. Is there any separate arrangement for to to uh, remove that water or uh, directly come out from the like air conditioner only? Yeah. Sometimes you have seen na with like water is start coming out. Yes, sir. But that but that is actually real gas. whatever pressure we are measuring that pressure is belongs to real gas right uh, right sir right pv is equal to mrt is basically for ideal gas uh. so uh. measured pressure is less than ideal pressure or more than ideal pressure and what is the difference between pslv and gslv uh, pslv are polar uh, gslv are geo uh, sanganas launch velocity and pslv are polar sanganas launch velocity Uh, GSLV uses uh, it is a large uh, a comparatively uh, large rocket which I will be able to uh, uh, launch uh, satellites to a much higher distance. Compared and which for, which one is which uh, which is used for the high payload? GSLV. Uh, GSLV. 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 Okay. And what is the difference between the rocket engine and the uh, jet engine? Uh, This rocket engine. Hmm. Uh, rocket engine uses uh, it, uh, in rock in commonly in rocket engine uh, both the oxidizer and the fuel is uh, kept in a cryogenic temperature and uh, it is burned and uh, ejected through a conversion diversion nozzle for the uh, propulsion okay. in uh, uh, in a jet engine it uses uh, rangin cycle uh, to uh, produce energy from combustion okay okay so as you mentioned st is also your favorite subject right sorry sir heat transfer is also your favorite subject na yes sir yes sir okay so can you tell me uh, what is the physical significance of the nusselt number uh, uh nusselt number is a dimensionless number which signifies how much uh, convective heat transfer happening relative to the conductive heating conductive uh, heat transfer it need not be it, it may be uh, constant throughout the uh, entire fluid domain also uh, for okay. a constant heat flux or constant temperature uh, uh, pipe wall that so, can be uh mm-hmm. huh tell me tell me in that case uh, nusselt number can be a constant it need not be a function of reynolds number or van der waals Oh, in, okay. In, in that case, Russell number, uh, yes, Russell number and Panzer number will be constant also. Russell so, number also constant in that case. Okay. So actually, in external force convection, na, it is always function of the Reynolds number and the Panzer number in external force convection. Okay. Okay. But if I am talking about the internal force convection, so in internal force convection, uh, when the flow bec- when the flow is laminar, okay, through pipes. Ah, uh, yeah. Flow through pipe or flow through duct is there, right? Inside, okay. inside the inside the pipe or inside the duct. then and in that case the set number in case of the laminar it is a constant value it is not function of the reynolds number and the panzer number right but okay, okay uh, have you idea about the dittes volter equation pardon dittes volter equation have you idea about the dittes volter equation no sir no in uh, turbulent flow i give some hint in turbulent flow internal force convection dittes volter equation sorry sir i don't have any idea okay 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 so uh, let us consider uh, sabhi let us consider there is a pipe right and that pipe is subjected to the constant heat flux condition okay sir right and the uh, in inlet temperature let us consider there is a water and the inlet temperature of the water is 30 degrees celsius and uh, let us consider the exit temperature is 80 degrees celsius Okay. So, can you draw the uh, can you draw the temperature of fluid or temperature of water versus length graph? Have you pen and copy? Uh, yes, sir. I have. Pain. Okay. So, can you draw the uh, temperature versus length variation? 
bulk mean temperature of the fluid you can say and okay. the length variation can you draw sir uh, is the ball temperature is constant or constant Sorry? heat flux constant heat flux condition constant that ball flux. is subjected to constant heat flux condition sir i have uh, drawn a linear graph but i don't think exactly uh, remember right draw a linear graph linear okay. variation linear variation sir so can you think of just one minute linear variation you are saying linear variation right i i uh, draw a linear variation i don't think that's right okay and what about the tube surface temperature variation okay this is the fluid temperature variation with length Okay. And what is the uh, what is the variation of uh, surface temperature with respect to the length? Surface temperature. Surface temperature. Tube surface temperature. Okay, sir. I I told you now what you did. Forget it. Make okay. your make your CV as make simple as possible. As simple as possible. Just okay. make your project of two pages. That's it. If you okay. mention so many things, na, then definitely. Uh... See, suppose, suppose, uh, finally, uh, like your project is not so big, then that doesn't matter for them, right? If you are trying to show your project is very good, turbulent modeling, this blah blah blah, but you you are not able to answer anything, it's waste. Yes, Even if your project is very very simple, simply some paper you just represented it, but you are able to answer each and every question, then that is more. more uh, you know effective okay. they are not impressed by what 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 you are doing basically they are impressed by uh, by your answers ha ah, what you are representing ah. what you did in your past that doesn't matter for them what you are doing in those half an hour one hour that actually matters that matters okay thank you sir, uh, sir sandeep sir uh, telegram channel i can i couldn't find in can you uh, sandeep sir pw sir sandeep sir pw Thank okay, you. so Thank wish you all the best. Thank you.